Hello, I'm Cadet Bainash, and I'll be talking to you today about ISU's ROTC SI program, Visual Signals. The objectives. First, I will go through the purpose of visual signals. Next, I'll go through the types of visual signals. Third, I'll go over needed hand and arm signals for ROTC. Fourth, I will go through visual signals and I'll show you actually depictions of them so you can see yourself and learn. Lastly, I'll go over where I found these visual signals and how you can study and look up more signals if you please. First, the definition and purpose of visual signals. They're a means of communication. In the field, you can't really yell at each other like what you're trying to communicate because in the field we're supposed to be tactical and the best way to communicate tactically is to use visual signals. They're silent tactical, they transmit prearranged messages, like one hand signal has a bunch of communication that's much quicker than having to say it all out. And recognition and identification of friendly forces, that's pretty self-explanatory, you use these to help communicate enemy friendly forces, just overall tactical communication. The types of visual signals. What we'll be using in ROTC is dismounted operations. This is where we're in the field, we're carrying, we're rucking. There's ground vehicles, which would be like the LMTVs and Humvees. Aircraft, which would be like the Blackhawks and other aircraft that we're using for our missions. Pyrotechnics is with fire and like explosives and that kind of stuff. Now I'll be going over needed hand and arm signals for ROTC. Like I explained, in ROTC, we use dismounted hand and arm signals. I will now go through the main ones in the next couple of slides and explain to you when we'll be using these. Join me, follow me, come forward. Like it says in this depiction, it's just putting your arm out and pulling it near you. This is signaling people to come to you. And when we're out in the field, you may see your squad leader giving you the signal, meaning that they want you to come to them because they more than likely have information that they need to pass down to you. Assemble a rally, that's kind of just like the join me, except it's more for everyone, whether it's coming to a rally point or coming and group up and give them your attention. Increase speed double time. In PT, you may hear us when we're doing our marching double time. This means that we're going to go into a run and no longer doing a walking march. A wedge formation, you can see in the left depiction of this that he has his arms out. In the field, more than likely, you won't be able to do this sort of signal because you'll have a weapon in one hand. So you may have to resort to the hand signal with a single arm on the right side of this picture, which shows the wedge. This you'll be using when you go into a single column wedge, when people are walking in more of like a arrow kind of shape. We use this many times. This is the most used formation in all of the army. Column formation, this is when you are marching in, light, in a line. As you can see, he touches the tip of his ACH, and then he will actually point to the ground where the column formation will start. When you are using this, and you see one of your battle buddies give you the column formation, you will not repeat it until you get to the part of where he is at. You will show him that you see that, but when you get there, you will point at the ground of where he pointed at to show that that is where the column formation begins. The formation is supposed to begin at a certain point because that is where there's usually dense vegetation. And if you do it before that, you may getting into a column formation before that in an open field, which could be deadly to your whole group in formation if you do it before that. Map check, as you can see, he's pointing to his um, the palm of his hand, which this shows that obviously like the PL or one of the squad leaders who he designated as a map keeper will have to check the map and take a break to make sure that they're on course for mission. Halt. If you see this, you will copy the halt and also take a halt, which means just stopping. You will do this. You will also look back when you see this and make sure your other battle buddies know that it's a halt. Everyone will lift their left hand up. This means stop, look around, and just wait for other commands. Take a knee, which would be right after a halt. As you can see, he's just putting his hand from up to down. Pace count. This is where they are checking to see their, they are, so each formation has a person who keeps pace. And pace count is either when they get to 100 meters or whatever they're counting, that's just a signal for it. Head count is when they need to get a head count of all the people, so they'll just tap on top of the ACH. Danger area. 
usually a danger area is when we go across the road or some open field that they need to do certain battle drill to get across. And everyone will copy this. Most of these hand signals you will copy. Certain ones need to be pointed at a certain spot, but that'll be pretty self-explanatory and you'll see your other battle buddies doing it if you have a problem. Freeze is a lot like halt, except with freeze, you put your arm up, but then you don't move. Usually when a freeze is called, it means everybody needs to be tactically sound and needs to be quiet because there could be possible enemy in the area. Stop, look, and listen, or more commonly known as sills. This is where we will stop, look, listen, and kind of get to get acquired with the new area we're walking in just to kind of scent, smell, look around, and see what's going on. Cease fire. This will be used when after you're firing, whether it's at a range or you're attacking on the enemy, and cease fire, as it's called, you put your hand in front of your face to signal to everyone that it is time to stop firing. Traveling. As you can see in this picture, he is moving his arm around in a circle. This means that everybody is going to start traveling, as in starting the rock, starting the mission, start moving. You will also copy this and send it back to the battle buddies behind you. After going through all these visual signals, you may be wondering, where did I find these? All of the army, all, army has all of its documents online, and you can find these. This is the um, army document which I got my information. It's TC3-21.60. This, you can look up online and find it, the updated one. And you can go through it and learn as many visual signals as you would like or reference the one I showed you for more information. These are the objectives I went over. I went over the purpose, the types, what we use for ROTC, and where to look for them. Also, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask your squad leaders and then they can push it up if they don't know the answer to find out from their um, the PSGs. But just make sure if you have any questions, you can personally ask me and I can look it up and reference it for you. Or just make sure you know as in the army, we're all together and you can ask anybody for anything if you don't know because all of us were new and we all had to ask questions to get into the group of everything. Thank you for watching and just like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.